new business. Before opening this item up for discussion, I would like to refer to council and citizens of New York for one point. 03, Division 2, Rules of Procedure, Section 1.03-032, General Rule Item M, which reads the amendment of rules. These rules may be amended or new rules adopted by the affirmative vote of two thirds of the town council members present, provided that the proposed amendments or new rules shall have been introduced before the town council at the prior town council meeting. Since this is the first meeting regarding this agenda, no action can be taken at this time. It appears that we have quite a few uh, people here today who wish to speak. I'd like to open this time up to those of the president who wish to speak regarding this item, the agenda item. Please direct your comments to the council. Point of order. Matthew, is that allowed? Before maybe open the citizen comment consistent with the rules, but the uh, rules provide that the order of priority uh, should be uh, commenced with uh, town council comments and discussion prior to um, opening the floor on uh, non public hearing. Okay, Mr. Zouding Officer, we will discuss. First item on the agenda is discuss, consider, and act upon adoption or amendment of town ordinances regarding the roles and responsibilities of the town manager and the mayor. <coughs> and at this time, I would like it to open it up to the public forum. We will address the council. Our town attorney just said you can't do that. You have to wait until after we discuss it as a body. I do not find that in the ordinance. Can you show me that, Mr. Paul? Presiding officer of this meeting. Activities. 
since you have been in power, you've done nothing for the people of our God. You bought this church, you remodeled it, put in all this fancy stuff for yourselves, but done nothing for the people of our God. You have a huge room over here capable of having many people, but you won't let the people of our God have a senior center. You won't let the people of our God have a library. You won't let the people, you won't let the won't let our mayor, the one we elected, have an office or a key to this building. When we ask you to freeze the taxes on seniors 65 years old and older, you froze only a portion of the taxes, only for one year. You have put us in debt that is sky high. You play dirty politics, knocking on contentious doors, telling them not to vote for who signs in their yard. And you delight in gossip. If you are called out for something you've done, you give half truth, snippy retorts. I've heard comments from some of you that Argyle people just won't volunteer. This is not the case. It's called honesty and leadership. Do you see all the people here today? Most of them are here because Matt Smith is honest. He's been up front with his past history <coughs> and he is sincere about working for the people of Argyle. And most of all, Matt Smith has leadership.
thereby requiring that such persons should not use their public position for personal gain, Donna, and that the public <laughs> should have confidence in the integrity of its public officials and members of town staff to implement such a policy the town council deems it advisable to enact this code of ethics and conduct for all public officials and members of town staff to serve not only as a guide in their official conduct, but also as a basis for discipline for those who refuse to abide by its terms. The code of ethics and conduct is cumulative and other ordinances and state statutes defining and prohibiting conflicts of interest. I would ask that the members of this council review the code of ethics in in our in our town policies. Um, Jackie, you were not elected. Because of you, we have to spend money every election to hire an outside elections judge. It's costing the town the town money to bring election judges in here because of your debacle in the 2008. I'm not sure why you're so outspoken on the council as none of us have had a chance to vote for you. I expect this council to get over whatever issue they had in the election and work together. Joey, I expect you to shake Mayor Smith's hand. What was that? It's not a chance. Are you out of order? No, you are out of order, actually. Of order. Yes, you are. I'm not. I am really a nice No, you're not. Out Bonnie, of you're out of order. Oh, I'm not. You're interrupting the citizens. You're out of order. Thank you. Okay. Let me pass the motion forcing you, you to rule on people, and you continue to allow it. Council members. Sergeant at arms. 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 Sergeant at
What I'm hearing today is appalling to me. Now it appears to me to be something that has been well orchestrated and planned. It appears to me, and I'm making this accusation, but let me say I don't think I'm alone. It appears to me that this was planned in order to discredit the duly elected mayor of the city, Matt Smith. Um, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me there has not been any back room meeting concerning the agenda for today. No, no meeting. How did the, the agenda get written? Did the, uh, we'll be happy when we're allowed our agenda did, item. You'll all know why did we're the mayor here. Have you have any, uh, any hand in writing the agenda? I'm sorry. Let me get my Please word. I'm right. trying to be very, <laughs> very reasonable in this. But this is what it appears to me, and I think that is that's very, very unfortunate. Now, I know that Matt has been accused from the very moment he began his uh, uh, campaign to become mayor of this township. He's been accused of all kinds of improprieties. Now, even in European countries, it is the practice that a person is innocent until proven guilty. England, France, Germany, you name it. That is the practice. It's been guilt from the very beginning by members of the present uh, council here in Arkansas. And the words appalling and unconscionable that he would deem to become mayor of this town were in the paper. Now, let me tell you about Matt. I haven't known him a long time. I've known his family for 47 years. But what I've seen in the very short time that I have known him, which is probably a week or two before the election, I've been very impressed with. For example, I'm on the uh, board of the Argyle Historical Cemetery. Uh, it's the Graham Argyle Cemetery. It is now on file as a historical uh, cemetery of the state of Texas. And we have an annual get together to have a, a, a meeting, check through the bylaws nominate new officers, new board members. We have a day of working in the cemetery. I know a number of you on the board, as citizens of Argyle, I've never seen any of you, of the older members, there on that day. I've never seen you there. I've been there the last several years myself. You have a chance. Then, um, I don't know how Matt found out about this thing, but a little over a week ago, we had that annual meeting, clean up day, meeting day, and that was there. And it was not to say I'm the newly elected mayor, he was there to work with a sledgehammer, post old mayor, and a shovel, and assist a number of guys trying to get the old flagpole out of the center of the cemetery. And he worked like a Trojan, not in any way striving to do something out of the ordinary. Because all the reports I've heard from that is that he is truly a citizen of this community and spends a lot of time helping people, doing good deeds, getting to know people, and doing things for them. Now, I'm not here to defend anything Matt may, may, may have done wrong in his life. Let he or she who has been without such activities pass the first stone. Those stones have been raining down. I, I don't think any of us are perfect. But I do know Matt's motivation. I know his love of this city, of this town, and I think he is sincere in what he's doing. He has not been given a chance. I have attended the first meeting, and there was a lot of eyes rolling. There were a lot of interruptions not letting him proceed. I see this meeting began at the very outset with the same kind of activity. And I think all of us who didn't expect it should be appalled. It is not a professional way to act. A man who has come in and had the approval of our community, not being given keys to an office, not being given an office from what I understand, not being given access to the documents that are on file in this building, that's very, very unusual. And I think it is inconsiderate to the extreme. He didn't come in here asking you to like him, to want to go to dinner with him every night, he didn't come here for any reason that I can find, except he wanted to do a good job, a good work for this community. And I think that is his motivation. 
give this man a chance. Don't change the bylaw so he can't speak. Don't change the rules so he can't uh, plan with you. Don't be against the man before he even starts. And don't accuse him as guilty before he has been proven to be so. Thank you. My name is Terry Mink, and I have uh, been a citizen of Argyle since uh, for 29 years, since 82. And I was offended when someone said, you people in the audience, I'm not an audience member, I'm a citizen of Argyle. And you need to remember that. I have the right to be in this room just as much as you have the right to be in this room. So I never want to be addressed as the people in the audience again. What I'd like to say is I've known Matt Smith since he was an elementary student. And yes, there has been times when I would have liked to punish Matt Smith. As a young man, he knows some of the things that I know about, things that he did. As an adult, a lot of our parents have probably corrected us in things like that. But if we all had to stand right now to be elected for anything, and say that we've never done anything wrong, none of us, including everyone in this room, could actually be elected for anything, period. I didn't vote for Matt Smith because what he did in the past. I voted for Matt Smith because what he's gonna do in the future. He now has the right to do that. As a citizen of our guy, I voted for that right. And I'm very offended to think that you want to take away my privilege of getting Matt Smith to be the person and spokesperson that I voted for to do what Argyle needs to have done. And I've seen Argyle change over the years. I've seen some of the new people move in. People have only been here a few years saying they're now a part of Argyle. I welcome them. But Argyle does not need to change to a point that we are having self-interest and all the other things that seem to be going on behind the scenes. <coughs> This fight that seems to be going on among the city council members right now is appalling to me as a citizen. This is the basis by which the whole United States is based on, is what's going on in this room. If we cannot agree to get along as citizens, we know each other. <coughs> if you cannot get along with each other to just run a simple local government, then what the hell does America have to offer? That's what's happening in all of America. If we don't stop it right here, and get back to being citizens of one another and being able to work together for the common good, I am of the majority at the moment. 52% of the people voted for Matt Smith. I want my will to be done. I would like some of the 48% to eventually agree with my vote because Matt Smith needs to be given a chance to show us that he deserved the other 48% he didn't get. If you don't give him that right to do that, and you're prejudging him for the other 48%. And you don't have that right. These citizens that did not vote for Matt should have the opportunity to determine whether Matt Smith should deserve to run another <coughs> term as mayor if he so chooses to do so. Right now, he is the mayor of Argonne. And I guarantee I will fight to the very bottom of the problem to make sure he remains the mayor of Argonne with all the rights he had the other previous mayor had, there is no reason to take any of those rights away from him because he hasn't proven whether he deserves them or not because he hasn't been given that chance. In the very first meeting that you had here at the council member, I came to that meeting. I came in support of Matt Smith. I heard a lot of comments made by the people that came up to this podium about integrity. I agree with the word integrity, but until you give someone to act in the position they've been given, you cannot base the integrity of a mayor on actions he hasn't taken yet. You cannot base that integrity on actions he did before he was the mayor of Argonne. That's what he is to this city. That's all, the only person he is to this city as far as his elected position. Therefore, we need to give him the right to show us the integrity as the mayor of Argonne. And there was a comment also made that he was going to have to start kissing some butt. I was really offended by that comment because I don't expect any of you to kiss anybody's butt on the council or in this room. I expect you to act as councilman, 
and act as mayor to do the job he elected you to do. For those who hadn't been elected, that's not an issue I need to deal with right now. But I'm here to tell you that as a citizen, I expect you to really act as my counselor. And I expect you to do that in an orderly manner and do it under the ordinances that have been provided. And don't start changing stuff. If you want to change stuff, come to the citizens and ask them if you want to change things like that. And then we'll let you know whether we agree with you or not. So thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm Ronnie Peavy. I live at 609 West Front Street. I've lived here for 15 years, and I've been proud to be called an art person who lives in our park, but until recently, excluding Matt and David, I have been afraid to say anything good about Argyle because the only claim to fame I fame that I have is my school, its education that it gets, and the state that the band's got. That is everything that I can claim. I'm afraid to even tell people outside of Argyle that my town's worth coming to because I'm afraid that if I say anything, People around Argyle are going to yell at me and tell me I did something or said something I wasn't supposed to. I would be ashamed to be on the council because Argyle has gone down the tube. <coughs> I've lived here my whole life and not seen Argyle do anything out of, out of the ordinary. But recently, until Matt was elected, I didn't know anything. But Matt dug up things that I know was wrong. He doesn't get any respect because he's a new kid. People on this council are treating him like kindergartners. The new kid, y'all have y'all's club, y'all have y'all's rules and rights, and then the new kid wants to come and play, and y'all turn tail and run. And when he finally does catch up, y'all decide that he's not worth anything, and y'all shut him out. I would be ashamed. I have become, I'm 15, and I have to worry about what I have to pay when I'm a voting citizen. I'm tired of hearing this. Y'all need to get it fixed or something has got to be changed. It is horrible that the person that has been elected by 50, I can't remember, percent of the vote. You'll have to excuse me. I'm not good with the, the percentages. But I'm tired of hearing the fact that Matt is being shunned out. In the 2010 census in Arbery, their population was 1,509 people. That mayor has a key to every office in that city. And he has an office, a very nice office. I talked to the secretary. She said that she knew the last mayor, and he, she had no idea of what was going on. Why does the last mayor get to have an office and get to have keys to the records? Sorry, he didn't have an office. I take that back. He didn't have an office. Why wasn't he allowed to get any records? Just because Matt's the new kid, he, he doesn't get to get any records? Secondly, 